Hi everyone, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. 2024 has only started, but there's already so much happening in the TBL industry. I thought it would be interesting to share all the news and updates with you. I hope you will find the video to be informative and enjoyable. Without wasting any more time, let's get into the video. A few actors from GMMTV have left the company in 2024, some left at the end of 2023, but I will just include them. The first actor is Mike Shinarat. Mike joined the company in 2018, with his first role being in Our Sky. He is also well known for his roles in these series, Theory of Love, Together and Tanhin Chan Lati amongst others. On 31 December 2023, he made a post on Instagram making it official that he will no longer be working under GMMTV. He was one of my most favorite actors within the company, and I wish him nothing but the best. And looking forward to seeing his future projects. The next actor is White Nawat. White started his acting journey in 2014 with his BL series called Love Sick. He then joined GMMTV and was in some BL series such as Theory of Love, A Tale of a Thousand Stars and other series. He is now a freelance actor too, and hopefully we get to see him continue to grow as an actor. The third actor is Pluim Purim. Pluim has been an actor since the year 2013, but his first series with GMMTV is from the year 2017. He had a support role in the series My Dear Loser, in which he was coupled up with Chimon Wachurowit. Most of his other roles were non BL roles, and he had a number of series over the years until his contract ended in 2023. At the moment, Pluim has his own pub that he opened in his hometown in Chiang Mai. Lastly, we have Fluke Puzit. Fluke is famous for his role in The Shipper. He also appeared in other series like A Boss and a Babe and The Warp Effect. On 2 January, Fluke also shared a post saying his goodbyes as he opens a new chapter in 2024. He is currently working under the management of the Growing 8 Entertainment and has his own upcoming BL series in 2024, named Your Dear Daddy, in which he will be coupled up with Poonpen Jitaboon, an actor from the 2023 BL series, Dinosaur Love. With other actors leaving GMMTV, I am at least happy to say that one of my favorite actors is finally back into the company. Singdo is an actor who is well known for his main role in the 2016 BL series, Sodas. Two years ago in 2021, Singdo's contract with GMMTV ended. He was now working outside of the company and his contract was not renewed, so I did not expect to see him back. But on February 14, 2024, GMMTV announced that Singto is officially back into the company. This was really exciting for me because he is one of the actors that had been in GMMTV for so long, and he's a great actor too. I'm really looking forward to seeing him in new series. I think he has really grown as an actor. His series, Shadow in 2023, was really outstanding. On the 29th of February, Mandy Work posted on Instagram that one of their actors, James Supamon Khan, has withdrawn from the upcoming BL series, Love Upon a Time, in which he had a main role. With the reason being that he would like to focus on his career as an artist, referring to singing and dancing. This came as a surprise to the fans as it was very sudden, and most fans are unhappy about this decision, since most BL fans have been waiting for this series for so long only to receive this news. James apologized to the fans and asked that we all support whoever Net will be paired with in the series. I am looking forward to seeing who Net will be paired up with and hope the series will not be postponed as far as 2025. This is a very recent situation that is still being discussed amongst the fans. On 21 March, GMMTV had a live scheduled in their live house for the ongoing Milk and Loves GL series, 23.5. This live had Neo Nimtawa as the host, this was to help promote the series. But this did not go as planned, as the fans felt that Neo did not do any research about the series. As he barely knew anything about the series and also did not know the names of the main lead's characters. 
And when Milk asked Neo to also watch the series and he said it would be a waste of time, the fans were very unhappy and felt that it was disrespectful since he actually had not tried watching the series or read the synopsis. For the sake of this interview, fans were also unhappy with him mentioning his girlfriend at work and thought that was the wrong time and place. For those who don't know, Neo officially made his relationship public on 20 to February. Hopefully the girls can get another interview with a different host that has watched their series and can help promote them. Neo responded to this and apologized on X, but it seems the fans are not ready to let go of the situation yet. This next issue is something that started happening at the end of 2023, but was only addressed early in 2024. There had been accounts on Instagram showing hate towards Dunk Nadachai and making unlikable remarks towards the actor. Like how he is a bad actor and that Jung is the only one keeping the ship alive when it comes to acting. On January 9, 2024, GMM TV addressed this situation and shared that they would be taking legal actions against the people behind these accounts. They shared the three names of the accounts responsible for this and the accounts have since been unavailable. Just 10 days later, on the 19th of January, GMMTV brought some feedback and stated that they have filed criminal charges, and also mentioned that they will do all they can to ensure that they take action towards any actions that violate their artists. On the 27th of February, GMMTV announced that one of their actors, Pine Tanik, has been suspended. This was due to the assault allegations that his ex-girlfriend Tanra D. Chanchaninkle made against him. Tanra D. posted a series of pictures and a video of herself with bruises that allegedly came from being assaulted by Poin on her Instagram story, in which she tagged him. Poin addressed these allegations and he claimed that Tanra D. is the one who has tried to harm herself whenever he wanted to break up with her. At this moment, we don't know what has been happening with this situation but hopefully there will be some news soon. Since being suspended, Pine was also removed from his role in the series he had coming up, We Are. And on the 29th of February, GMMTV announced that Poon Mitpakti will be taking over Pine's role in the series. A new trailer has been released and the series will be released on the 3rd of April, which is sooner than I expected, especially since they had to reshoot all the scenes with Pine. Since the series for him ended, there has been some issues arising between the company and the actors from the series. To start off, Yoon, whom we all saw on a poster of the series, did not end up appearing in the series. Even though we did not get to see his scenes, they were still filmed, meaning he still put his time into acting. And Yoon said he was still supposed to be paid, but he claimed that the company did not pay him. Besides Yoon, some of the other actors also claimed that they were not paid for their work in the series. Remember, the series was filmed long before we got to watch it, ended on 15 February and they still hadn't been compensated. Y Entertainment did respond to the actors and said that they will pay half of the amount they owe by February 29, 2024. They also said that they had explained everything about the payments to the actors and told the actors that they're not doing very well financially at the time being which would explain the delay in payments. The other issue I would like to address with NY Entertainment is the situation with the actor Tor, from For Him the series. On 21 February, Tor did a series of posts on his ex account about what he allegedly went through since joining Y Entertainment. Tor claimed that since his first month of joining the company, he had been harassed by someone in the company. He said this person made his life difficult and he had no freedom. This person would constantly call him and if he did not respond, he would go as far as using someone else's phone to call him. He would monitor his life. Tor also said that he started being unable to sleep because he was constantly thinking that this person is calling him. And after four months of being in the company, this caused him to start having panic attacks until he had to go and see a psychiatrist as he had symptoms of depression. You can also read the entire story on his ex account, which I will link in the description. Why Entertainment has not said anything about this yet, so I don't know if anything will be done about the situation. 
but he has been receiving support and encouragement from the other actors he worked with and from all his fans.